oolong tea is semi-oxidized tea. This means that the leaf has been oxidized anywhere between 15% up to about 80-85%. So you get a wide variety of flavors. The processing technique is that they pick the leaves when they're a little bit larger, sometimes two, sometimes three leaves, and then they wither it under the sun, and then they roll or shake the leaf. What that does is that starts to bruise the edge of the leaf, and that releases some of the essential oils of the tea, which react with the air and start to oxidize. Once the perfect level of oxidation has been reached, they then pan fry the leaf to stop the oxidation process. And then the leaf goes through many different processes of rolling and drying. And you get either a ball rolled oolong, which are oolong leaves that have been rolled into small, tightly packed balls. Or you have what is known as strip oolong, where the oolong still resembles strips of individual leaves. What I have before me here is a light oolong. This is about 15%, 15 to 20% oxidized. And I have a medium to dark oolong, something in the region of 60, 70% oxidized. They do go darker than this. In terms of flavor profile, because of the fact that you have light oolongs all the way to dark oolongs, it varies very widely. With the light oolongs, you tend to get freshness but you also get some floral notes and a little bit of creaminess and sometimes some nuttiness. As the leaf gets darker, you start to develop sweetness, fruitiness. It becomes slightly drier and you get some toasted, roasted notes. Most of these oolongs, once they've finished the production process, go through some level of roasting just to accentuate the flavors and bring a bit more complexity. If you look at the actual wet leaves, you can see that the leaves are no longer green, they have a kind of khaki color as it's slightly oxidized. You may also notice the edge of the leaf is actually quite red. That's when they bruise the leaf, either through shaking it or through rolling it, the edging of the leaf starting to become damaged. So this is a light oolong, and this here is a medium to dark oolong. And you can see it's darker, slightly more of a copper color but you can still see the greenness of it so the beauty of oolong teas is retaining the freshness of green teas but the sweetness depth and complexity of the darker teas and because of the varied nature of their flavors you can pair it with all sorts of food darker ones obviously for more robust foods so treat it similar to maybe a red wine so with with gamey meats or with some rich curry dishes, oolong, dark oolong teas are great. For desserts, green oolongs are perfect because the milky, nutty, creamy notes of the green teas bring out the sweetness and creaminess of desserts. So next time you uh, are looking for something to excite your taste buds, oolong tea is the way to go.